Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to uh, look at installing uh, Revit Lookup on our computer real quick for Revit 2019. Uh, this is also good for, I think it's uh, 18, 19, I think it just came out with 20, and then I think it goes back all the way to like 2015 or something. Alright, let's get to it. So we're going to go to Chrome. Don't judge me for all the tabs I have open. Uh, we're going to go down to this one. It's going to take you to the GitHub page, right, where it has pretty much all the installs where Jeremy Tamek does his stuff. Alright, and then we're going to scroll down and select whichever one you need, right? So I'm going to select 2019 because that's the one that I have. And before I do this, if I go over to my Revit, you'll see that I don't have anything in my atoms, right? Okay, so that's going to change right after we do this. So source code zip, and that's going to get downloaded. You see that? Show in Finder. <clears throat> and then we're going to unzip it, however which way you choose to do that. And then let's go here, get that going, open that, and then you're gonna see 2017 through 2020, so I'm gonna install that one. All right. So double click that guy. And then it's gonna switch me over to my PC and it's gonna start installing. <clears throat> go through the installation wizard. And yes, please. And once it's installed, we'll start going through why this is so powerful and so great. <clears throat> and there it is. So you see that it appears right up here, right, which is beautiful. So you do a test, right, first you do Hello World, and then boom, it's right there, right, it's great. So things with why this is great. Uh, Revit Lookup is a really powerful tool because it can start, you can start inspecting your model, basically. It's kind of like your the model is database, right? I think I mentioned that before, right? So pretty much everything that you have in there. So right here, right, we can look at, there's information that you can get from like the edit type properties and everything that we have here on the side, right? And all the parameters and stuff. If you go to edit type, you can even get stuff from the family. But if you want like the really nitty gritty stuff of it, you're gonna select what you want and then you're gonna go to add-ins and you're gonna go to snoop current selection. It's gonna bring this up. All right, so this is the wall, right? The type of wall it is and this is the ID number that it comes with for the element. <laughs> you can see that right here. Um, and so it just gives you a boatload of information in terms of document, all documents, the wall, what level it's on, what level it's attached to, what's attached on the ceiling or roof if there's a limit, the height it's in, the parameters set to it, um, get ordered. This so I drag this out. It's easier to read. <clears throat> Curtain wall, is it yes, no? Is it flipped? Is it not? wall type and if you go into the wall type and you go on this right and you just you can just go down the huge rabbit hole of finding out what these things are right and so now we're in the revit we're in the wall type of it right so now we can go and do the model and all of our coding stuff and we can select the id of it so the part where this create comes really helpful is when you have an id that you can't find right so for example if we go here to manage and usually we'll have some sort of errors right that pop up okay and usually it'll give you the ID number, but you have to go back here and find it, right? Another method also too is that, uh, for example, I guess we'll just show you. If we go to add-ins, right, and we go to Revit Lookup, we can go to SnoopDB. So SnoopDB, Snoop Database, right? So it's a little different. This will go through, and this will give you the entire everything in your model that you have, right? So everything to where your base point is located, to dimensions dimension types, yeah, everything you could possibly want. What was really helpful too is that it'll also give you AutoCAD loads if you ever have any loaded in. Because um, you guys have probably done it, you know, where you try to load in a CAD file or link a CAD and it comes in but you can't find it. Yeah, this is very helpful for that because there'll be an AutoCAD section that pops up right here. And then with that, you'll be able to um, get the ID number. And once you come, once you get the ID number, so like for example, so we get this guy right, we can come here, get the ID number, right click, copy, come out of that, go to manage, search by ID, show, and then, yes, thank you Revit, and then usually it'll take you to, yep, and there's our ceiling, All right? So it is powerful in the sense that it can do that. Um, 
other pluses too also is that these will really help you like when you want to go through your coding and then you're debugging and trying to figure out what you need to go to next and the elements that you need. Um, this is really powerful because uh, add-ins, I have a lookup. Mm, this will go to, let's make it easy. Go to this wall, add-ins, I have a lookup. Uh, so current selection. And so like this, right? So we have a wall, okay? And if we want to figure out like the level that it's on, right, we can get that information here, right? So then we go here and then boom, we get to the level ID, right? You can also get the location of where it's at, right? You can find, there are ways to figure out, is there anything like things that are mounted to or attached to level one? You know, like give me all those items type of thing, right? So there are ways of doing that. Uh, let's see, location. Some of them are dead ends, but most of it's not. You know, look, usually most things that go into are the parameters, uh, parameter map, it's not a helpful one. And then we'll go to <clears throat> get ordered parameters, because this is helpful too. Uh, you get names, level, structural, is read only, it's a load of information. So when we go through more of this stuff, uh, I'll probably be using this every time when we go through it. And yeah, I'll stay be really helpful for you guys to look around in it. Um, it kind of gives you more information than you probably want in Revit, but you know, more information is better than less information as long as you can kind of go through each bit of information. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, I just want to show you guys that too. Um, and then we'll get to the next one. I think the next one, let me check the roadmap. Let's see. So this is a roadmap. Um, so these are the ones I've created so far. I still need to upload the videos to them. Uh, and the reason I have time now is so I got to look up for my job, as I imagine some of you also might have to. And if not, good on you. Hopefully you guys get to keep it. Um, but yeah, so feel free to click subscribe and like it. If you do, hopefully you do. Hopefully it's informative and helpful to you. Uh, and you know, you can leave a review in the comments if you want. Uh, or if you have any suggestions of what we're going to go over. Uh, so we got Revit Lookup, Create Column, Create Sheet, Create Drafting View. Uh, create egress path. That one's gonna be fun if we ever get to it or when we get to it. Uh, so this one I was able to figure out, which is actually really cool, just because you have uh, usually when you need to edit a grid, you need to get all grid lines and convert convert them to 2D to 2D before you can edit them and you know like align them on your sheet and everything. So that was helpful to go through. Uh, I also created a sheet generator, uh, which I can show you guys how to do. Also, that one requires. Um, that one probably be like a multi-part episode. Um, let's see what else is there. Also, upcodes AI checks your ADA, which is awful. I'll do a recording on that, uh, and you guys can kind of see how it works. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter. Uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, we'll go through more Snoop tools uh, later on. All right.